we have this. Here's some uh, other things that you don't need, but it's really helpful to get these, actually. I have a scalpel handle here and disposable scalpel blades or surgical blades, whatever you want to call them. These will also be in the description, too. They each contain a little pack that is pre-sterilized. So as long as they stay in this package and you put them on top of this, right? I'll show you guys how to do that. They will be sterile. And of course, you're going to need some mushrooms. I got some dried mushrooms here. And uh, we're going to be going ahead and making a culture. So I've already went through, sterilized my hands. Uh, I don't have any gloves today. Uh, I actually have to touch and all that stuff. I might as well go ahead and re-sterilize my hands. I'd like to take a second here and uh, say uh, thank you guys so much for all of your support and all that stuff. Um, we're approaching 10,000 subs and that's really a, a crazy big deal to me uh, because I never thought I'd reach that. So enough babbling about me, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, get this started. So first things first is I'm going to uh, shut off my fan. Eh, I don't care, actually. I'm going to turn leave it on. Uh, so we're going to take the lid off. And you can see this here. Well, maybe you can. It's kind of hard to tell. You can see it's a slightly different color. That is some sort of malt extract, I believe. I can't remember. Um, so let's get our scalpel here all set and ready to go. Now there's only one way that these actually go on. I recommend holding like this. And you can see here this end matches up with this end. You put it through at the bottom and make it go up the middle. There's a little slit in the middle there. And you push until it clicks. And then usually until I'm cutting, I like to leave it just like that. Grab yourselves a nice mushroom here. And we're going to be using the cap. So we can just go ahead and rip it right apart. Now I like to use the inside here. See how I chose one that's um, kind of closed off? I'm going to actually be getting inside there to take my sample. So I'm just pulling it open. And then I'll take my scalpel blade here. And what I really want, what I'm really after is the, uh, the fins inside here. So I'm going to just try to make a nice cut. This is very hard doing it through a camera. It's all backwards for me. I'll probably cut myself doing this. And we got a little little piece here. Let's see if I can rip it. There we go. So I got a little rip here. And I like to just stack them up. So I threw that on top of the box here. And take another little rip here. See if I can get a little piece in here. My brother just shared something on Facebook. Shout out to my brother, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Awesome. Now the rest of this, you could save it. It's still good, still eatable. And pull up our plate here and our gills. That I've chopped up. I recommend doing it in three. That way, in case you um, you see any contamination starting to take place, you could just pull them and replace it with another one, or you could just let the other ones grow out. Um, so I always do it in three. And what I like to do is take these and paint and uh, and throw the the gill side of it face down here onto the plate. And of course, it never works as you want it to. So you can take your scalpel here and just kind of. Flip it over. If I could figure out how. There we go. Oh. There we go. And 
just do it to all of the rest of them. Try to face the gills face down. Now, this works a lot easier if you're using fresh mushrooms here. And it's actually recommended here that you, um, you use the tissue of the mushrooms. So there's that. And um, I'll try to show you the tissue between these. The, the mushrooms here, it's hard with this type. And I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm slurring today or whatever. I'm uh, really tired. As always. So here, I also had this type of uh, tape here. It's, it's more or less a paper tape. It's really thin and it, it feels like paper. So um, you just tape the... Uh, the little ring here. I'm trying to do this without making that fall here. Maybe I should grab here. Yeah, I'm going to grab a new one to show you guys that. <clears throat> Alright. So you see there's uh, this little lip here. In these new jars. We're going to want to tape all around this area here. If I can go ahead and fix this. The guy over here. Try to space them out. Great. So let's go ahead now and tape her shut. Oops. Like I say, try to tape that seam as best you can. And I'm completely failing at this, so let me go ahead and get this uh, taped up, guys. All right, now that we have that all taped up, guys, it'll take no time at all. Uh, you should uh, start seeing the colonization process happening here. And if you guys notice, we have um, no sort of green indication or anything like that. These are completely um, unbacterialized. Or, I don't know, guys. I'm super tired, even though it's, what, 10 in the morning? These rainy type type of days, it, they just make me tired for some reason. So anyway, so guys, I say you'll make a culture, um, and in the future here, hopefully, I, I, I want to say that these should be fully colonized this week. Um, I'm going to be making a video showing you guys how to actually use one of these to colonize your own jars. Um, so this will work with wet or dry mushrooms. Uh, as you just seen, we just used dry mushrooms. And the culture that I took this from came from a wet mushroom. Um, so I think that's everything I want to explain. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, guys, uh, sorry this video is all, all over the place. Um, Check the description. There'll be links to this, to uh, to these plates, to to the smart tro. Um, anyways, if you guys like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on growing, keep on smoking. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.